Hello Zach up in Delaware, your Fat Boy Kazoo is ready to go. I'm going to do the final sound test with it here. And after I do this sound test, I'll clean it with an alcohol wipe, rub it down with some kazoo wax, polish it out right quick with a rag, and get it down to the mailbox for the mail lady to come get it shortly. Okay, what I'm going to do is just like we did before, just a high-low test and a power test. And this is a beautiful kazoo. It had a beautiful voice, and I love the grain pattern in it and the color of the, of the body. And, it's, and it's just, it just looks great. And this uh, cherry resonator cap really, really sets it off beautifully. Okay, here, but then I'm kind of crazy. Just, whoop, just had a bird fly in the workshop. See how that likes kazooing. Beautiful dynamic range and great control. And now let's do the power test. A lot of power and great control when you put the power to it. And I was putting some power to it. Okay, I look forward to seeing, uh, hearing what you think when you get it. And I sure appreciate you coming by the shop and getting a kazoo. You helped pay the light bill this month and kept me being able to make kazoos. Uh, there'll be a few things in your package. There'll be uh, a couple brown envelopes. One brown envelope has two peel and stick green belt tabs that you can uh, put on your neck brace so when you clamp your fat boy in with that metal support rods on that neck brace you don't scratch your kazoo all up. And there'll be a package of some spare resonator membranes and the email I sent you has directions on uh, or directions to a video that shows you how to change your membranes and such. The trick is don't tighten the resonator cap down too tight. People want to crank it down like they are a car tire, and you don't. You'll deaden the uh, uh, membrane. So if you ever put one in and you hum it and it's dead sounding, back off on those screws a little bit. And don't tighten those screws all down at one time on one end and then go to the other. A little bit just like you would a car tire. A little bit across from each other until it goes down equal. And then it just needs to be snugged down. And once you get it down, with, I just use a short screwdriver, and once I just get it down to where it's, not giving me any more uh, movement, but I just stop right there. And that generally sets me up perfect. Sometimes I'll have to take it down a little bit, but uh, that's the best way I've found to do it. Okay, there'll also be a uh, tin of Doc's Kazoo Wax in your uh, package, and it's way you can keep your fat boy all shined up and clean. And plus inside, I use just a rag on it, wrapped around a pencil on my kazoo to go in and out of the mouth hole with the uh, beeswax, and it really is great for preventing moisture buildup, and then I use Q-tip squab going down into the uh, vent hole. Let's see, okay, there'll be a Doc Kazoo card, and a Doc Kazoo sticker, and your receipt. I appreciate it. Thanks again. I hope you had half as much fun watching me as I had fun making your kazoo. If you did, then I'll be a real happy camper. You have a great week. And I hope to see you again soon. Be sure and stop by the Facebook page from time to time. You never know what kind of crazy kazoo I'm gonna come up with. All right, gotta get to work on some kazoo.